In my previous video, I talked about a South American mythical creature called the Satchumama. The Satchumama is a huge snake that protects the rainforest, and even though it's a mythical creature, it's also a real one. The biggest snake ever measured in modern times was an anaconda that construction workers in Brazil found dead in a cave. And these construction workers could not believe how big the snake was. It was 33 feet long. And I assume because of huge snakes like this, which are extremely rare, especially today, is how the legends of the Sachimama became. Imagine walking in the Amazon thousands of years ago and you saw a snake that was 30 or maybe even 50 plus feet long moving right through your village. You might think that what you're looking at is a god and you'd probably be scared to death. And today I want to go over sightings of snakes throughout the centuries reported to be just as long or even longer than the biggest snake ever to exist, the Titan Boa. One story comes from a member of the Royal Geography Society, Percy Fawcett. This colonel was an amazing explorer. Amazon Prime even made a movie about his life called The Lost City of Z, and it was an awesome movie. This man became obsessed with South America, and he believed that there was once a great civilization hidden in the depths of the jungle. But despite multiple trips into South America, he never found it, and he did end up disappearing with his son while looking for this lost city, and they were never seen again. But in a way, the colonel was right, as we now know a lot more about the Mayans, and the Mayans were indeed a great and very advanced civilization for their time. But anyway, during Foss's expeditions before he disappeared, he would encounter huge snakes while traveling into the depths of the Amazon. One day while traveling down the river, he and his crew spotted a huge snake swimming right next to them. So Fawcett loaded up his rifle and shot it. Then the snake started to thrash in the water to try to get away or attack them. But thankfully for Fawcett, he was a great marksman. And before the snake could get revenge, it died. Now since this snake was so big, he wanted to bring it back to civilization as proof, as he knew his peers would not believe that there were snakes this big in the Amazon. But sadly he couldn't because it was just too big. He measured this snake, this anaconda, to be 62 feet long, which is 12 feet longer than the Titan Boa, the biggest snake believed to ever exist on the planet. And when he did finally get back to civilization, he told everybody about this encounter. But just like he assumed nobody believed him, as zoologists at this time thought anacondas could only grow to about 19 feet, which we now know is not true, they can get a lot bigger. Now the natives who were on Fawcett's crew told him, as well as other western explorers that at times, they would see snake tracks that were up to 5 feet wide along the riverbanks. And when they would see these tracks, they knew that a monster was nearby, a snake twice the size as the one Fawcett claimed to have encountered. And the Brazilian government estimated because of these tracks, that there must be snakes out there in the depths of the Amazon up to 80 feet long, according to these 5 foot wide tracks. The snake that Fawcett encountered was only about 12 inches wide, but nonetheless it still weighed thousands of pounds. So if there are snakes out there that are 5 feet wide and 80 plus feet long, then they truly are monsters. And if a human encountered one, they probably wouldn't live to tell the tale. But from time to time, some have actually claimed to have seen them. When the Spanish arrived to South America, they told their fellow countrymen that there were snakes out in the jungle that were 80 to 100 feet long, and that these snakes would eat animals as big as oxen and horses, and easily humans. One encounter happened in the 1900s during an expedition deep into the rainforest. One day while this crew was surveying the land, they encountered a huge anaconda so terrified they shot it multiple times. And once they believed it was dead, they measured it, and to their surprise, it was 37 feet long. And since this crew had scientists with them, this encounter did get a lot of press. But back then, this size was unheard of. And when this crew went back to where they believed the snake died, it wasn't there, so the snake must have still been alive, which freaked them out as they did shoot it multiple times. And today we know that anacondas do grow larger than 30 feet, so it's very likely that this team of surveyors were telling the truth. Now there have been reports of snakes much, much bigger than 37 feet. One account states that men deep in the jungle killed a snake that was 100 plus feet long. Another account claims that there was a snake that was 131 feet long and that it weighed 5 tons. There have also been reports of monstrous snakes that have wiped out whole villages. I would like to point out though, that these tales of huge snakes, they might not all be anacondas. Percy Fawcett believed that there was another unidentified huge snake lurking in the depths of the jungle. Now the Amazon is huge. There are still so many places we have never been. So I do think with all the evidence we have, that there probably are snakes out there that are 40 feet long. And that is truly terrifying.
In this video, I just wanted to focus on South America, but there's an amazing case that happened in Africa in 1959. A military helicopter pilot believes he saw a snake that was 50 feet long when he was flying over the Congo. And I do wonder, could this snake possibly be a Titan boa? The Congo is very dense and remote, just like the Amazon. And remember, we have found species alive today that we thought went extinct hundreds of millions of years ago. But yet, here they are, still swimming in the ocean. We have dozens of sightings over the centuries from explorers claiming that they saw a snake that was 50 or even 100 feet long. So it does make me wonder, could the Titan boa still exist? Before you go, I just want to let you know that my hoodies are still available. And if you would like to support my channel, I do have a PayPal link in the description. I would like to thank all my patrons and of course, all my amazing viewers. I hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. Until next time, this is Paranormal Junkie. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.